presenting the new MET Hybrid Review Program. It features a breed of different e-learning modalities altogether. Get technology solutions to keep you in a growth mindset and discover tips and tricks from live online lectures and coaching. Immerse yourself into a rich library of trusted practice and lessons and on-demand video lectures from our top instructors available exclusively on MET Review app. Apply what you learn with self-paced mock tests available on the app. Empower yourself with our expertly crafted modules and resources to accelerate your learning. Have a chance to reach out to your mentors face to face and have your questions answered quickly so you can keep learning. Set up your personal learning profile with the special courseware that tracks your progress. Sign up now and avail the limited discount of 500 pesos for the first 50 enrollees. Presenting the new MET Hybrid Review Program. It features a breed of different e-learning modalities altogether. Get technology solutions to keep you in a growth mindset and discover tips and tricks from live online lectures and coaching. Immerse yourself into a rich library of trusted practice and lessons and on-demand video lectures from our top instructors available exclusively on MET Review app. Apply what you learn with self-paced mock tests available on the app. Empower yourself with our expertly crafted modules and resources to accelerate your learning. Have a chance to reach out to your mentors face to face and have your questions answered quickly so you can keep learning. Set up your personal learning profile with the special courseware that tracks your progress. Sign up now and avail the limited discount of 500 pesos for the first 50 enrollees. Hi everybody, kamusta kayo dyan? Welcome to our episode 5 of Met Kapihan series. So ngayon mga kaibigan, is a very exciting night kasi nga um, napakahalaga na pag-uusapan natin ngayon sa Kapihan. It's about managing your finances in the time of the pandemic. So bago tayo magsimula, mag-shoutout muna ako mga kaibigan. Kamusta mga kayo dyan? Siyempre ang ating top fan, si Jen Alihudin ay nasa ating um, comment section na. Sir Dom is watching, Sir Noy is watching, si Sir Mark is watching, my mom is watching, meaning my entire family, Mapa, Tong, Ibet, lahat kayo ate. Si Sir, sino pa ba? Si Leslie G is also watching, sabi niya, good evening po, ma'am, Sir. John Paolo is also watching, si Jolina De La Rosa, good evening daw para kay Sir Noy. Si Misty um, Meca Duque, good evening daw. Si Ira Payawan, tapos um, si Renz Polycarp with a second, si Mylene, ah, si Mylene De Guzman, alo, um, alulod. Um, si Juderick Arnoco is also watching. Charmaine T.U. is also watching. Ito yung mga suki talaga natin to, mga top fans natin. Si Zarnet Claudine. Ma'am Nene is also watching. Hi Ma'am Nene, kamusta sa Ilocos? Ingat ka dyan. Um, shoutout daw po, ano, papashoutout si Juderick uh, O. Arnoco. Hi, hi sa'yo. Ma'am Jen is also watching. Hi, Ma'am Jen. Katrin Jasmine B. Gonato is also watching. Hi. Hi, Frenny. Kamusta kayo? At since nag-message si Nene, gagayain ko siya sa pag-ihikayat ng mga friends yung manood. Come on, come on. Invite your friends. Di ba? My brother, Tong, is also watching. Sabi niya, woohoo! Ayan. <laughs> And, uh, ayan. So, please share the, uh, this particular link sa mga kaibigan nyo para mapanood ang ating Met Kapihan episode number 5. Ayan, sabi ni Nadine Gail, good evening sir, good evening din, good evening sa inyong lahat. So ayan, and please do share this link to your friends para mapanood nila. And uh, while you're doing so, alam nyo ba na super na-excite na ang buong MET family because bukas na po ang ating launching, ang ating first day ng ating hybrid program. Kaya super duper excited na po ang buong MET family. Hindi lang yan, mga kaibigan, alam nyo ba, na ating mga enrollees ay nationwide. Meron taga Davao, meron taga Cebu, at meron taga Maynila. And we are excited to launch the very first hybrid program in the Philippines. So, ayan. Sabi naman ng nanay ko, hello, shout out po sa mga tagi-imus kabite. Hi. Ah, si Colleen um, Candelaria is also watching. Hi, Colleen. Ayan. Ang dami na nanonood. 
So please invite your friends sa manood ng ating Metcapihan for tonight, for this particular evening. Dahil ang ating mga host at ang ating speaker ay ang mga pinaka-guwapong lectures niyo sa MAT. Ayan ha, libre niyo ako mamaya guys. Hi, Jolina De La Rosa. Yeah, sabi niya, she is super excited to share main to you. Sabi niya, yes. Now, habang andyan na kayo, mga kaibigan, let me take, let me take this opportunity to, to say something. Kasi hanggang ngayon, kahit bukas na po ang ating launching na MET Hybrid Program, marami pa rin ang nagtatanong kung sulit nga ba ang MET Hybrid Program. Well, my friends, I must say, ito ay napaka-sulit. And to prove my point, mga kaibigan, I will show you the breakdown of our prices. Sir Lawrence, pakita po natin breakdown ng price. Ayan. Now, normally, ito yung mga kasama sa ating MET Hybrid Program. Kasama dito ang mobile app. At kung hindi package ang kukuhain mo, ang ating mobile app ay may halagang 1,000 pesos. Kasama rin po sa hybrid program ang ating reviewer book na nagkakahalagang 600 pesos. Kasama rin po dito ang ating printed mock exams na may two sets. 500 po ang isa nun. So two sets, 1,000. Kasama rin po dito ang ating cut o ang ating competence upgrade technique na dati ay hindi kasama sa regular review. Ang presyo po nito is 2,500. At um, sa mga pinaka-proud kami ay is, is yung last part, yung consultation with the guru or uh, aming mga live Zoom lectures. Actually, mga kaibigan, ang aming live Zoom lectures, meron tayong total of 33 or more live Zoom lectures. At ito ay may halagang 3,300. So yun po ang laman ng ating MET Hybrid Program. Mobile app, 1,000. Reviewer book, 600. Printed mock exam, 1,000. Cut or competence upgrade technique is 2,500. And of course, ang ating live Zoom lectures na 3,300. Mga kaibigan, ang total po nito is 8,400. Yun nga lang mga kaibigan, alam po ng MET family ninyo na 8,400 is very expensive. Lalo na po ngayon sa panahon ng pandemic. Kaya, ang ginawa ng ating MET family, para lahat tayo ay, mag- ay, mag- ay magpatuloy mag-review we slashed the price of more than 50%. Kasi ngayon, ito ay 4,000 pesos na lang. Lahat-lahat ng yun, mga kaibigan, makukuha nyo for only 4,000 pesos sa ating MET Hybrid Program. That is more than 50% na na-slash sa totoo niyang presyo. Kaya nga, if you would ask me, ang MET Hybrid Program ba ay sulit? My answer is very simple. Ito ay super sulit. Now, ang tanong, Mr. Padilla, sir, ano po ba ang mga laman ng ating MET Hybrid Program? My friends, we are very proud of this kasi ang MET ay nakisabay sa ating panahon. We are adapting to the new normal. Why? Ang ating MET Hybrid Program ay gagamit ng maraming learning and teaching modalities. Number one, ang ating hybrid program ay modular. It means we will still provide you the printed materials that you need. Number one is your MET book. At number two, ang ating mga modules. Pangalawa, ang MET hybrid program is also blended. It means ito ay mixture ng synchronous at asynchronous learning modalities. When we say synchronous, ito po yung ating mga live Zoom lectures. Kaya nga mga kaibigan, eh, kahit tayo ay merong social distancing, kahit tayo ay I mean, physical distancing, kahit tayo hindi pa na mag-face-to-face, hindi nyo pa rin po mamimiss ang inyong mga lectures kasi meron tayong face-to-face through live Zoom. Yun po yung ating synchronous. At syempre, meron din tayong asynchronous. Dito naman po, you would learn on your own pace using our book and of course, ang ating mobile app. Hindi lang yan mga kaibigan, kasama rin po sa ating hybrid program ang aming final coaching or we call it CUT or Competence Upgrade Technique. And my friends, you would have the chance to be with us and ask questions sa ating face-to-face Ask the Guru interface. At mga kaibigan, ito yung favorite ng marami. Sa loob din po ng ating MET Hybrid Program ay napakaraming mga sample questions. Actually, sa MET Reviewer Book pa lang, meron tayong 1,200 questions. At mas marami yan sa loob ng ating mobile app. Kaya naman mga kaibigan, if I were you, please grab this opportunity to enroll sa ating MET Hybrid Program. Again, ang MET po is pioneer in let review and once again, ang MET is pioneer in this kind of offering. Ang MET Hybrid Program. 
sa ating mga alumni, please tag somebody um, na, na tingin nyo kailangan kumuha ng MET hybrid program. Please do spread the word. Our alumni, sila yung ating mga ambassadors talaga na talaga namang lagi nakasuporta sa MET family. So again, mga kaibigan, MET hybrid program. Bukas na po ang ating simula. So please, enroll na tayo. Enroll na tayo ng MET Hybrid Program. So, ayan. Thank you. Promotion, ano? Now, let me go back to my shoutouts. At then, adyan po si Ipomeya Mercy, ang ating top fan. Si Yuka Castro, um, Ilayda, ang ating top fan din natin yan. Si Karen Malonso. Hi, Karen. Sa Ilin Belguera Bellosa at si Paul Rainmark Salsag. Ito yung mga alumni talaga natin. Hi sa inyo and, and, and sana magstay kayo kasi napakalaga ng ating topic for tonight. Ang tanong, ano nga ba ang topic for tonight? No, ako ito, tingin ko, kailangan ko to kasi I also need to manage my finances. Eh. Kaya tingin ko, lahat tayo mga teachers at future teachers, mahalaga that we know how to manage our, our, our money. Kaya naman, let's start this particular kapihan by me welcoming our two hosts for tonight. Number one, ang poging pogi at, at, at ang lodi ng lahat na si Sir Philip Hernandez. Sir Philip, are you there? Yes, I'm here. At Good evening, siyempre, everybody. Welcoming from the Visayas, from Cebu, isa pang, isa pang pinaka well-loved na teacher sa MAT, si Sir Engelbert Reyes. Hi, Sir Engelbert. Ano ka ba? Hello. Good Ayan. evening, everyone. Good evening, Sir Philip. Sir EJ, ha? hindi mo minensyon na pogi, ha? Ah, sinabi ko na sabi. Grabe naman. Well love lang, ha? Actually, well, well love. love so... At remember, dedicated. Yeah. Yes. Sige, dedicated. And dapper yes. na rin. Dapper, dedicated. Wow, well dapper. Love. Opa, and... opa. So, Sir Philip and Sir Engelbert, uh, take it away. Good evening sa inyong dalawa. And uh, I'll be watching. Okay thank you. Po. Thank you, Sir EJ. Thank you, Sir EJ, for that uh, warm introduction. Good evening, Sir Engelbert. Kamusta ka dyan sa Cebu? Okay naman po, medyo alarming pa rin yung ano namin sir, uh, yung situation namin dito. Mm-hmm. Parami pa rin ang parami yung uh, cases ng COVID. And uh, alam mo, marami ng mga tao ngayon na nagigipit dito, no? Talagang ilang mag-3 months na to or 4 months na pa, parang yung Cebu yata yung pinakamahabang lockdown talaga at in the at world. Perfect na perfect oh. kasi <laughs> yes, at per- in the world talaga oh. At perfect na perfect kasi yung topic natin is all about financial literacy. At you know, uh, COVID pandemic has caught us all by surprise. At uh, most of our, uh, you know, fellow brothers and sisters, hindi nakapag-prepare for this uh, mm-hmm. pandemic, no? So, okay. Uh, I think it's uh, it's high time to really discuss this, especially for us teachers na may iba na, na laid off, yung iba naman uh, yeah. nasa bahay lang. Tama, Ang swerte, maswerte tayo siyempre sa education kasi uh, counted pa rin naman tayo as hindi, hindi tayo leisure na profession eh. So, umaga, marami pa rin mag enroll uh, marami pa rin magulang na ayaw na mahinto o ma-delay ng isang taon ng kanilang mga anak. Pero siyempre, uh, meron ding mga hihinto sa pag-aaral. Maaring uh, kahit libre ang tuition natin, uh, yung pang-araw-araw naman na gastos. No? Kaya nga tama ka, Sir Engelbert, meron din tayong mga cases na teachers may be um, may not be renewed or may not be asked to teach for this year. At uh, mabigat ang hamon na binibigay natin sa ating speaker ngayong gabi. Kasi Totoo. Uh, hopefully ma- uh, maturuan niya tayo or ma-enlighten tayo on how we can bounce yes. back financially. Co- no? Correct. So, so sana sa sa ating session ngayong gabi to all our viewers and to all our uh, Met Review supporters who are watching uh, via Facebook Live, this is also not just a chance for us to learn, no, but also to feel a sense of hope. Diba? Na things are gonna get better, but we need to act no, in order for it to get better. So, um, Sir Engelbert, um, will you allow me to introduce the man yes. of power? Our financial yes. guru? ang mag-aahon sa kahirapan. <laughs> so, um, I am very honored to uh, introduce to you someone whom I've known since high school. Uh, classmate ko yan uh, sa University of Santo Tomas Education High School. And um, uh, lo and behold, pagdating ng kolehiyo, uh, teacher, uh, pagiging, t- pagiging guro, rin pala ang kukunin niya. He was a math major. 
And one of one of the things that I'm very proud of is hindi lang niya ni-retain sa math, no? Yung mga natutunan niyang skills, disiplina, and all that, dinala rin niya yan into how he behaves and how he carries himself in real life, in his professional life. He's a teacher at the University of Santo Tomas Senior High School. He's a published author at ngayon consultant at coordinator na rin ng mga libro. At syempre, well-loved na lecturer natin sa Modern Education for Teachers or MET. And he's also uh, one of the country's budding and um, you know, he's, he's becoming one of the most successful young financial advisors of the country. My dear friends, wow. pa, my, uh, my good friend and our dear math lecturer, Mr. John Nico Urgena. Ang magliligtas sa atin mula sa kahirapan. <laughs> Hi, good evening, Sir Nico. Hi, Hi good evening, Hi, Sir Nico. Nico. Kita na ako. Hello. Yes, po. yes. Hi, Sir Philip. Hi, Sir Engelbert. Hello, po. Okay. Hello, sir. Mabuti okay, naman, naman, sir. Po. COVID free. Awa ng Jos. Ayan, so. Mm -hmm. Sir, dito po sa mga yung, yung so, frame lang. Medyo napuputol yung ulo niya, medyo bakaw. Yan. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. Okay na yan. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so anyway, oh, anyway, um good evening once again to uh to everyone. Uh Sir Philip, Sir Engelbert, I would just like to say that I'm really excited about our topic this evening because um this is uh Another passion of mine that I'd be sharing with with everyone, syempre, to a larger audience this time because uh, I am invited by of course by by Met to uh, share with you financial literacy and um, really happy also because you know every time I share about financial literacy, uh, I get to inspire people to uh, to manage their finances and eventually I know it will help them in the in the near future. Mm -hmm. So. Sir, yes, oh, yes. Nab nabanggit mo na yung term na literacy. No, Siyempre, mm. uh, sa atin sa education, pamoso yung term na yan. It's uh, the most basic mm. definition na alam natin is just the ability to read and write. No, right, yes. What do you mean when you say financial literacy? Ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Oh, sige, medyo nag medyo nag sa akin sa... Okay, sa so... Anyway, anyway, I think I got your question. So, financial literacy, kung, you know, your teacher side, di ba? So, house, yung ating uh, curriculum. So, kung mapapansin nyo doon, uh, financial literacy is one of the themes mm. of the of the P21.org that we are emphasized, uh, asked to emphasize in our lesson plans, in our uh, activities, di ba? Kung makikita mo dyan, Partnership for 21st Century Education would say that we need to discuss or integrate these literacies isa dyan ang financial literacy. And you know, literacy. Sir Engelbert and Sir Philip, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with the, ano, with the K-12 because mm -hmm. uh, um, this is now integrated in our uh, in our subject, particularly Gen Math. That's you know, so senior high po yan, sir. Yes, so senior high. Oh. Um, tayo before, nung nag-aaral tayo, wala tayong ganito in our curriculum. Okay. So it's right. the prerog prerogative of the teachers to integrate financial literacy if the teacher himself or herself is financially literate. Oh, so, doon natin, doon nila integrate but not, not, uh, not in a sense that it's, uh, it's something that is uh, really part of the, part of the curriculum. So, kung mapapansin nyo sa Gen Math ng Senior High, uh, there is one quarter dedicated for financial literacy and that is Math of Investment. Narinig nyo na ba yun, sirs? Math of Investment. Yung investment okay. You invest Ma, ano, in the company. You invest 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 in the company. So, the oh. math of investment is like this. So, we have the senior high school graduates. So, mm -hmm. when they graduate senior high, they know the meaning of investments. They know mm -hmm. the meaning of compound interest. They know oh. how to compute. They know annuities. They know loans. Itong mga bagay na to, no, pag narinig natin, hindi, hindi necessarily na familiar tayo. Kasi hindi Totoo. na naging part ng curriculum natin, which is a disadvantage yes. on our, ano, on our generation. Do you agree? Yeah. Yes, yes. Kaya, kaya I think maganda rin itong naging katihan <laughs> series oh. na nito. Nalagaran tayo ng topic kasi kung ano man oh. yung pagkakulang ng education natin dati, hopefully, 
kahit pa paano, mapupunan. Mapupunan, or at least mahihibulan mm-hmm. yes. ng mga tao na mag-isip on these matters. You, you know what, sir? Uh, I just recalled my experience uh, after graduating in college. It was my first time to have a um, an ATM card, debit card, and at the same time, a credit card. And Uh-oh. I really didn't know how paano yung mga processes, yung mga banking processes. Napaka-ignorant ko at that time. And I was, you know, there are, it's a yeah. mix. When, when it's your first time to use them, it's a mix of anxiety, Uh-oh. fear, apprehension. So, mga ganyan. And I think this, you know, Sir, financial literacy na to, it's heaven sent. It's a blessing na nilagay na nila sa curriculum, especially senior high. Uh-oh. And it's a must na nandun siya sa, ano, sa ating curriculum. Ako din before, I didn't I didn't know what uh, debit means, credit means. Hindi ko alam. To be, to be honest yes. with you. Hindi ko alam yes, ang pang yes. interest. Totoo yan. I, 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 oh, I didn't yes. know how it works. Mm-mm. Yes. So, uh, maganda na itong mga graduates natin ng senior high, you know, um, know the right vehicles for where they can put their money. No? Kasi, um, isashare ko sa inyo, magkukulit ako ng konti on why I'm really passionate about financial literacy. So, okay lang. Bawang kayo yes, go, go on. Yes, go on. Hindi ito pa ang ating uh, chapter magkukulit ako. So when I when I uh, graduated uh, college, I immediately applied. So work ako agad. So uh, parang one month after graduate, just ano uh, just a week after graduation, I'm already ano uh, I'm already applying for work. And then one month later, I'm already started working. My earning, no May ano pa nun, eh, the calendar ends at March. So I yeah. graduated on April Fool's Day, April one. Philippines <laughs> <I> graduated. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, just a month after I started working, I started earning already, which which um, I'm very very happy, no? Uh, to to get your first salary. Oh, yeah. so, finally. But but the thing is, um, yeah, finally also you share the same experience, no, Sir Bert? Anong year ka na graduate, Sir Bert? Magkabatch pa tayo. Um, 2009 ako graduate, Sir. <laughs> ako na buko to like uh, decade ago. Uh, <laughs> ako ko to loy. <laughs> Story, <laughs> nabuko tuloy. Nabuko. Ayan. Ayan. Anyway, um, I ended the year, my, my first year of working with, ano, uh, hindi naman malaki, pero ay, nag-ipon kasi ako, nag-ipon ako talaga. Mukha lang hindi. <laughs> Mukha lang hindi, pero I ended the school year with a, I could say, a pretty good amount. No? Kasi nagkaroon ako ng summer classes, nagkaroon ako ng remedial classes. Tayo mga teacher, yan yung mga ating mga, ano, Uh, uh, sideline. Yes. And additional, yes. right? So additional. Kasi parang yes, yes. my co-teacher then, uh, she got pregnant. So, uh, all the summer classes were given to me. Okay. So, all the payouts also given to me. So, I have, a, I think, a good amount of money in hand. But uh, I, I I didn't think that I made wise decisions with that money. Not that I wasted it, but... Uh, the vehicles to where I put it. I put it in time deposit. Okay, so time deposit. Like time deposit kayo, yeah. sirs? Naka, nakatry ko. Uh, <laughs> hindi ako nakapag-try oh, ever. Ikaw, <laughs> sir. Natry, natry ko yan. Never, never. So, saan ka nag-save, sir, Bert? Saan ka sa, nag-save? I know, sa, sa insurance, sir. Uh, ah, may insurance ka, guys. It's good. Yes. Mm. Sa prud- ako, prudential. Yung first insurance ko, prudential. Then, followed mm. by Prolife UK, ganyan. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Ako, sir, I, I, I didn't know where to put my money, to be to be honest with you. So, I did time deposit, which I which I did withdraw um, a year after. Without the maturity. Kasi may, parang may lock in something yan for you to get the interest. Yeah. Yes, so, yes, that's so. one wrong financial move because it's money loss, which I cannot get back. Mm. Diba? So, that's one uh, money mistake that I made, which I think not only me, but many many other graduates who started working, they invest in time deposit. I don't know what else. <laughs> Pero may, I, ano naman siya, sir? Di ba may interest uh, naman siya, sir? Yeah. Di ba, sir, may interest naman siya? Di ba, dun, dun ka magkakaroon yes. ng profit? May interest siya. Pero sobrang konti. Yeah, may interest siya. Hindi siya worth it. Okay. Uh, apart from sobrang sinabi, sir, konti, na, ano, it has to be locked in there na. for some number of years. Oh, so, hindi mo siya magagamit yung emergency uh, times, mga ganyan. Yeah, na mis- sir? Ba't ko sinabi na na, na mistake siya? Tama ba? That's a question. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, uh, first and foremost, I, I, I had to withdraw. 
parang may certain may certain lock siya eh. since time deposit siya you have to keep it there if not hindi mo makukuha yung uh, interest and may charges pa so say for example eh, invested ano ay wag na nating lagyan na number <laughs> i invested an amount i didn't get the interest i was expecting and also it has charges because i had to withdraw premature so oh. anyway uh, looking back into that also i'm thinking na no pag binabalikan ko siya ngayon no so the, the promise of the time deposit was around 2.25% so 2.25% so that's small maliit yon so bakit siya maliit so if you're familiar with inflation inflation familiar ka sa inflation so yeah. yun yung sige bigyan ko kayo ng example no so may binibili kang meal It's worth 100 pesos. So favorite mo yung favorite mo yung meal na yung 100 pesos. So nag-save ka sa bank. Normal regular savings sa bank is will give you 1%, tama hmm. ba? 1 I think 1%, 'di ba? 1% even with less. charges, <laughs> with charges pa yon. So actually 0.25. Yes. So say for example, I have 100 pesos and then I saved it in the bank. After a year magiging ano siya? 101. So tumubo siya na ang <laughs> tumubo siya ng piso, yeah. 'di ba? Mm. But my favorite meal because of inflation grew to 105 pesos. So short ako ng 4 pesos. Nalugi ka pa. Do you get it? Mm. Yes, nalugi ka pa from saving in the bank. Why? Because I'm putting my money on a vehicle that doesn't that doesn't overpower or go beyond the inflation rate. The inflation rate. So meaning If, if the inflation rate is regularly 5%, so the prices of goods grow by 5% per year, my vehicle should be able to beat, beat 5%. So, dapat mas malaki siya doon. Otherwise, I'm losing. Actually, I lost 4%. I still have the same 100, 100 pesos, naging 101. But I'm lo- I, I've lost 4%. Uh, 4%. Of the ability of that 100 to yeah. buy something. Oh, okay. So, oh, so oh, tama uh, no. Si si Philip naggo-grocery ka, di ba? Yeah. Di ba napansin mo yung ginagrocery mo <laughs> this year, pagbinosery mo siya pang grocery mo same amount. Mas yeah. konti na yung nabibili mo, di ba? So yeah. that is inflation. Yes, yes. Yeah. So yeah. Correct. Oh, it's because so, of the inflation, no? So, so if ito, itong klase ng practice na to, mm-hmm. would we consider uh, kung um kasi di ba ang, ang isang goal ng tao is kahit na gaano siya katagal dito sa mundo no up to, up to the point mm-hmm. na siya gumatay hindi siya masyadong magiging in need sa pera and i think tama ba sir Bert, yes. ang description na binibigay natin is someone who is financially stable okay mm-hmm. so um, tama ka siya how can we this how can we say na ang tao stable na hindi ka stable na masyadong, na. hindi ka na masyadong kakabahan yeah. okay so guess so from 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 that, no, finan- financially stable. When do we say that a person is financially stable? Actually, um, kayo, sige, tanongin ko kayo muna. How do you say Twist that a person is financially stable or financial stability? Uh, siguro, siguro hindi kakabado na kung saan, ka, kung saan mo kukunin yung for the, for the period oh. na hihintayin mo until your next payday. So, oh. Oh. when you May... can sleep soundly, na kung may emergency man, things are gonna be okay. No? May paghuhugutan. At hindi mo kailangan umutang. Yes, tama. Very good points. Actually, kasi I, I feel naman also that you have idea of what financial stability is. Ikaw, sir? Sa akin naman, sir, um, siguro when your expenses is ano lang, under the the income, no uh, below the, the income na nakukuha mo, hindi nag yan. At also, I heard from a wise man na if you're able to ano daw, live for around six months to one year without having any salary, the savings that you have, okay, can last for up to six months to one year without receiving any salary or any income, then you are safe. You are stable in a way. Tama ka doon. Oh, Tama sorry. ka doon. Uh, I prepared a checklist on how you can check whether you are financially stable. So yung mga audience natin for tonight, you can also check whether you are financially stable. So we have five on our checklist. Sige, so the first one is you have little to no debts. Wala kang utang. 
Sige. So, when we have uh, when we talk about debts or utangs, merong meron tayong tinatawag na good, merong bad. So, yung good, ito yung pag Ayan, sige, Ayan. Sir Lawrence is sharing it. Ayan, sige. So, the first one is you have little to no debt. It means that yeah, wala kang wala kang uh, wala kang utang. You're able to free yourself of utang. Diba? So, saan ba tayo mostly merong utang? Sa ating uh, credit card. Diyan kasi credit manilid, card, diba? in, the, in, in, the, in the time of pandemic, is also the time of Shopee and Dada. Yeah. Diba? Do you agree? Yes, yeah. yes, sir. So, and, yung and, dami, ang daming ano, natitem. Kasi bawal oh. mag-mall eh. So, ang mall nila pumunta na oh, sa mga diba? mobile phone. That is, sir, um, mm-hmm. and daling, ano, and daling, it's more on bumili. travel. Yeah. It's more on travel. Mag- Uh, gamit ng credit card to buy tickets, mga air mga Plane airfare tickets. ganyan ganyan o going to the book the hotel. So medyo ano din 'yan, no? malalaki ding so, yun ng uh, home credit. Yan ang, I mean not everybody has a bank account, not everybody has a credit card. Pero oh. tapansin namin yung home credit. Home credit, uh, oh. Yung para you know, every month you get a phone call asking you to pay mm. a certain amount because you got an appliance or a cell phone. Actually, madami na ngayon, sir. Meron ng mga Paymaya, Gcash, na yung phone number mo na lang ang ginagamit to, to do transaction. Yes. In short, mas dumami yung temptations, di ba? Yes, mas yes. Mas dumami yung, uh, yung means pa tayo ay um, madisrupt yung ating um, budgeting. Ano? So, to, to check whether financially stable, you have little to no debts. So, that's number one. So, wala kang, wala kang utang. Technically, wala kang utang. Second is, you can pay for your monthly expenses. Saglit lang, sir. So, y- you mentioned... Ay, sorry, sir. Sorry to interrupt. You mentioned kasi kanina, there, there is good debt. Ano naman yung yeah, bad debt, sir? Uh, parang so, yung bad, hindi na mention yung bad yeah. debt. Yes. Uh-huh. Yung wasteful. So, ito yung mga debts that you're using for uh, for your luxury, for, for, mga luho, for ma- your wants, not for your needs. Okay. All right. Oh, oh. So, mga things that aren't unnecessary, mm-hmm. but you you feel like you're obliged yourself to always get something every month from Shopee, parang ganyan. <laughs> diba? So, ayan. Salamat, Shopee. Good naman. Good naman. Uh, sana, sana yung... Yeah. <laughs> yung salamat, Shopee. <laughs> okay. Ayan. So, yung... Pero we should not look at that's as something na negative no because there are there are uh, good reasons for especially for starting a business it's it's okay to uh, to take a loan if you are using it to grow your money further correct, so okay correct. Lang and if you have really emergencies that you get really out of help so pwede ka naman talaga mag loan ayan so okay. second to check whether you are stable is you can pay for your monthly expenses so when you say you can pay for your monthly expenses meaning you don't have to um You don't have to borrow from someone else yes. in order to in order to pay for your expenses, and meaning it it's within within the range of what you can. So, pasok sa budget ang iyong uh, ang iyong uh, monthly expenses. You expenses, can oh. freely pay for it. Okay. Oh, so I think we can all agree on that. The third one is you pay your bills on time. To yung sinasabi kanina ni Sir Philip na ano na uh, parang hindi mo na hihintay. May di ba may ganon? yung iba ano sabi nila eh hintayin ko lang yung ano and then Susunod. and then i can pay for that oh it means that you really don't have it when, yeah. i mean you really don't have the money when you bought something Be- mm. because you you're, you're you're giving yourself a mindset that meron ka noon darating lang but actually at that moment of your purchase wala ah. diba pero, pero since hindi ka financially literate no, hindi mo na iisip na Uh, oo, oo, may darating kang money but at that moment, wala talaga so dapat hindi ka muna nag-purchase diba? So, sir, so, uh, yeah, so it's you... safe to say na uh, when you talk about money and purchases hindi laging safe yung i-assume mo na merong paparating na pera Is there tama, a possibility tama, na tama. pwedeng biglang may mangyari hindi na dumating yung pera Is that is that a real possibility? Yes, sir. Totoo yan. So, um, you know, it's it's a matter of, uh, ano eh, um, yun nga yung sinas- in-emphasize ko, no? Uh, if you're financially literate, you know this. Y- yung, yung mindset mo is not a thinking na okay lang yun because merong parating. 
you know, financial literacy, when you talk about literacies naman, no, any kind of literacies like civic literacy or whatever, so yung mga themes ng ating uh, T21 or 21st century learning. Literacies mm-hmm. teach you, I don't know if both of you would agree, no? Um, a change in mindset or a perspective or how you look at things. Diba? That is literacy. So, you look at things at in a different way now. If, for example, you're not financially literate, 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 but now you are. Diba? Okay. So, yeah, that's it. No? So, you pay your bills on time. Sige. So, next would be uh, you have an adequate emergency fund. Ito na mention ni Sir Bert kanina. Sir Bert, gano'n dapat kalaki ang emergency fund? <laughs> Depende sa ano, sir. Sa kung ano rin yung lifestyle mo in a monthly basis. But, oh. um, meron nga nakapagsabi sa akin na it, it should be Uh, mm. Six months to one year na ano, worth mm. of savings na to, to last you for six months to one year pala oh, the savings. Tama, no? Na-experience natin yun ngayon. Yes. Uh, oh. We had an emergency. We didn't plan for this one. Yes. But let us assess ourselves, especially our audience, who among us had the emergency fund. Diba? Right. If, if, if you are a person watching right now and you have the emergency fund, When the when the pandemic started, you are financially stable mm. because you're prepared for these things. Mm. And only financially literate persons would prepare for these things. Mm. So emergency fund, naman, Sir Bert, it could be from three months to six months. No, for one year, siguro medyo medyo malaking rin yon. Oh. Of course, <laughs> there's no problem. Na. <laughs> prepare for for a year. Diba? <laughs> Pero nalungkot ako ng konte, Sir Bert, kasi na isip pa. One year ba tong lockdown na ito? Ay, oh, diba? I want to go back kasi, to, to totoo, how things were, di ba? Ka- kami sa Cebu, sir, more than three months na eh, di ba? Pang yeah. ano ata, parang oh. half a year ata kami mag- magla-lockdown. I-, I read somewhere, sir, na ano daw, mm-hmm. um, savings or emergency funds, it's an expense where you bu- you're buying your future. Parang ganun yung wow, idea that's niya. Nice. That's nice to hear, oh, sir. Oh. Maganda yan. Oh. Oo. So ako naman, ang, ang realization ko naman dito, no, na now that we've experienced a pandemic, which is unexpected, lahat tayo nagulat. ba diba? Lahat tayo nagulat na the, the day after, actually the day after the, ano, the day after the uh, lockdown happened, I was outside. And then, everyone was rushing home. Parang, parang magla-lockdown na daw. So, pero medyo nag-panic din ako ng konta. You know what I did? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I withdraw. Anong ginawa mo, sir? <laughs> I mean, ah, cash. Wow. <laughs> lahat ng casher. Yes. <laughs> lahat may ng limit, cash? May daily limit eh. May daily limit, di ba? May daily oh, limit. So yung maximum I, I, I daily maximize, limit. I maximize my cards and then I did withdraw cash because I know I'd be needing cash. Because cash oh. is fluid. So, uh, yun, just that example, no? I, 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 that's how I prepare for the, no? prepare for the pandemic. <laughs> Because I, I know I've been needing cash. No, baka kasi I, I thought masasarabi yung mga ATMs, ganyan. But the good thing about oh. it is um, when, when things like that happen, you have something to withdraw. Diba? It's not necessarily have to be really very big. Doon lang, based on doon sa need mo. So, ang computation natin would be three to six times of your salary, then you're good. Diba? So, but actually, hindi ko din naman yun, ano, hindi ko din naman na-prepare for like six months. Kasi after... The, the first time GCQ happened naman, I went out and then we draw again. <laughs> okay. I don't know if <laughs> so you know. Na na the first time GCQ happened. Uh, we draw talaga ako ng cash. Ikaw, Sir Philip, anong ginawa mo nung nag-GCQ? <laughs> when you're allowed binig- to go binig- out. naman tayo ng government ng three days lead time. So, ganun din. With Uh-oh. current, tapos, syempre, Uh-oh. punta na ng grocery. Naka- Nakihalo sa mga nag-panic buying. No? Kasi Uh-oh. we did not know how long we were gonna be locked in. Pero mm. buti na lang, pinayagan na at least for essential. Di ba? For essential mm. goods and services, Uh-oh, pwede essential. ka makalapas. So, mm. Sir Nico, nabanggit yung uh, uh, usapan ng emergency fund. Okay? Uh, hindi Uh-oh. naman tingin sa kaalaman natin na minsan sa kulturang Pilipino, you're not just taking care of yourself. You're not just taking care of your own family, mm-hmm. meaning asawa mo, mga anak mo. Uh, you you still are very close with your parents, with your siblings, etc. At totoo yes. ba or mayroon bang validity yung observation na minsan 
ang ating nagiging emergency fund ay ibang tao. Yes. Yeah, so, ano ang reaction? So, tam- ano ang reaction mo? Ayan. Yan yung culture na... Yan yung culture... <laughs> ako, ako personally, yan ang culture na gusto kong mabreak because it's, it's, it's not a good practice. Mm-hmm. No? So, actually, there are two two cases to that ano sir Philip. So hindi lang naman parents no. Yeah. Hindi lang naman it's also it also works the other way around. So some parents who's not prepared I, we don't mean naman to ano no to point on some people. No? But this is ano eh, this yeah. is something siguro I wouldn't blame them also because financial literacy has not spread during uh-huh. their time. But uh, based on the culture of Filipinos, retiring parents depend also on their children. Okay. You, may ano tayo parang may social okay. ano yeah. psyche tayo eh, na mm. our kids become our investment kumbaga oh, no? oh, yeah. <laughs> so sila we have to uh, break that yeah we have to break that no uh, because uh, you know if we depend on them they're also having starting their families they have probably they also their children so medyo nadudok ang tawag natin sa sandwich generation ayan yeah. So, nasa sandwich ka because you're providing for your children. At the same time, you're providing for your parents. For your, so, your children and then your parents. Yeah, parents, so your sandwich. So, diba? na ka. Right. Sige, pero hindi lang naman din parents yung possible na mag-depend no, sa, sa kanilang uh, children. Also, uh, children who's not prepared okay. uh, make their parents their emergency fund. Okay. So, ito yung mga uh, earning na pero they don't save. And when emergencies happen, they would run to their parents and ask for funds. So kung ano yung sinasahod nila, oh. walang tinitira at all. Mm-hmm. Tapos pagka mm-hmm. nagkaroon na ng problema, Uh-oh. balik sa parents. Ah, okay. Oo. Diba? So it's also unfair on the end of the parents because they're now at the point where in their saving for their retirement or they're already mm-hmm. on their retirement, their funds are limited for their own use. Retirement. Diba? For oh. them to live or probably they prepared for it for to enjoy a comfortable retirement and then mm. makukuha lang na emergency so, fund no, for, for those who's not prepared. To anyway, to I think to we're learning. So the, the, yeah. the, the generation is learning. Uh, I see that in in the future, now we'll be able to uh, to break this culture as well. You know, halimbawa, sa states, they're very dependent, independent, diba? independent sila. Yeah. Uh, actually, when they reach, uh, when they reach 18, they move out. 18. So then they move out. Yes, yes, so, yes. They would take their own personal loan to finance their own college studies. So, gusto rin natin sana no na in the future, no, we we also learn that. Anyway, let us proceed. Number five is your network Sige, po, sir. is growing year after year, de ba? So that's how we know you're stable. You're not stable when you're stagnant. So, uh, yung meaning, diba, uh, uh, Sir Bert and Sir Philip, do you take note of how much you uh, you earn every, like, every month? Earn in every, a year. Ano, every year. Do you take note of that? Meron naman po. Yes. Meron, in fact, naman, so, pati yung expenses. <laughs> yes, tama ka siya. Yung gusto kong i-share eh. Oo. Uh, maraming money manager apps. Tapos, kino-note mo doon, diba, kung... Um, magkana yung income na pumasok, magkana yung expenses na lumabas. It's really good because it gives you a statistics also of saan ba napupunta mostly of your ano of your mm. money. Kasi meron doon mga categories like food, travel, food. social. Tapos puro social pala, no? <laughs> puro social life pala yung napunta. So, mapipigure out mo kung, kung saan siya napupunta. So, yeah. So, as much as possible, you try to grow your, uh, your net worth. Ibig sabihin, you acquire investments or uh, if not, meron kang ibang nag-generate na other sources of income. O kaya naman, kahit promotion sa work, yes. nag achieve ka for promotion, you don't yes, remain yes. stagnant. Mm. Diba? So, yeah. Sige, so that's how you know you are financially uh, stable. stable. So, Sir Nico, syempre, kahit na stable naman ang mga tao, no, there will be problems along the way. Can you give us very briefly lang, very Uh-oh. quickly, ano yung mga potential na problema na uh, pwedeng makapag-break or makapreten sa stability ng isang lab? Yeah, and it's a very good question, no, sir. So, we have inevitable problems, which the sooner we realize, so the sooner we realize, uh, the better. Mm-hmm. Because you'll be able to uh, 
provide for solutions for these problems. So, problem naman yun, of course, you're finding for solutions, diba? So, ano-ano ba tong financial problems na pwede nating ma-encounter in real life? So, the first one would be, ipon ka ng ipon, so acquire ka ng investments, acquire ka ng, or kahit na regular savings, nagsasave ka, diba? And then, sickness happens. So, what happens? <laughs> diba? Uh, na-feel nyo ba yung ano, yung parang takot na takot ka lumabas? Right now, during the pandemic, yeah. di ba takot yeah. na takot Anytime ka lumabas? Anytime pwede kang dapuan ng sakit eh. Oo. Oh. That's one, di ba? Anytime, uh, pwede kang dapuan ng sakit. It's Pero, so expensive diba, to get sick, sir. Yung recovery rate ng COVID. Yeah. Oo. Oh. So, Depende sa age yung... group. Depende oh. sa age group. Pero at risk, oh. mm-hmm. Sige, o oh, magiging technical tayo sa ano, sa COVID. <laughs> uh, pero anyway, I think Huwag the point is... Huwag na natin pag-usapan ng age. Uh, uh, the point is, um, we're, we're not only afraid because of the physical threat, but also on the financial threat. Mm, correct. Diba? Pero for example, magka-COVID ako, Diyos ko. Tapos they say that the, the cost of uh, medication would, would be amounting to, ano, how much ba yan? Yung uh, yung mild would be would cost you around 140k. Oh. At least that's what I yeah. say. Yeah. Yung mild yun na 140,000. So paano ka na kung wala kang ganun? 'Di ba? So Correct. So will happen. Mm. Oh. So isa yung threat, isa yung problem na kailangan nating mahanapan ng solution. Sickness. So pwede for example, yung nakakalungkot no, pero let's make mention like for example, you acquire cancer. Yeah yung all diabetes or what, those are the common ones, di ba? So, paano pag nagkumpa ng ganito, saan ka kukuha ng uh, money to finance for it? And then, siguro, hindi ka naman, ano, hindi ka naman, uh, ano tayo doon? Uh, immune dito sa mga ganitong sickness, no? So, totoo, you know, totoo. this will happen. This will definitely happen. So, paano na? Di ba? So, According to statistics, no, 8 out of 10 Filipinos, ito, ito, ito legit na statistics, na 8 out of 10 Filipinos, before they, they die, for example, they, they suffer either heart attack, stroke, or cancer. Tatlo. Tatlo yan siya. Heart attack, stroke, or cancer. So the chances that you will get, you will get sick talaga is really there. So, so kung inisipin natin statistics na yun, those who do not die of sickness, very small number ng 20% na. So siguro yun yung causes ng accident or other okay. causes. No? So, so paano ngayon na, yun? Thickness ang majority na papakay. Mm-hmm. Oo, di ba? And, and what happens is, for example, nag-book me, bili ka ng house and lot. Di ba? And then sickness happens. So ano mangyayari? Mm. You sell it. You sell it for sale. I mean, uh, sale price. Palugin. Baka sa emergency. Uh-huh. Uh, immediate yung need. So, bebenta mo siya ng value na mas nalugi ka. Mababa, oo. Oh. Oo, oh, mababa kasi urgent. Okay. Tama ba? Yeah. Oh, so, it's a financial problem na kailangan mo ng solution dahil, di ba? So, next would be accident and disability. So, itong accident na to and disability, it's a financial problem because it could stop you from working. Di ba? And when, and when you stop working, your income Paano? also stops. Mm. Totoo. Diba? So, you have to pay for the for the accident. You have to pay for the disability. But also, um, you have to, um, you don't have income. Diba? So, how do mm. you pay for it? Diba? Ayan. Sige. So, the third one would be death naman. So, bakit ito financial problem? Pwede mong sabihin na, ano, diba? Uh, tawag dito. Eventually, uh, may problema yan. yan because, yeah. di ba, wala ka na eh. But actually, it could be a burden. Di ba? If, if, di ba, for example, uh, oh, well, what if you have dependents? Well, most of the time, you have dependents. Di ba? Either it's the children or the parents. Mm-hmm. So, if you're gone, studies. Di ba? So, paano sila magbubuhay if you're the, if you're, for example, the breadwinner? Okay. So, ayan. Di ba? So, medyo malungkot yan. And also old age. So old age meaning uh, what happens during old age ba? The income stops. Mm. Diba? If the income kasi stops... Na mandat- stops kasi na mandatory ang retirement sa Pilipinas eh. Oo, diba? If the income stops, 
it's a problem or yes. when you get old it's a problem it's something oh. you have to prepare for ayan so ito yung mga financial problems no na, na ating uh, ma-encounter Philip and Bert okay Sir, mm-hmm. sir, so para matulungan natin yung mga viewers natin, uh, we'll just jump a little, no? Uh, baguhin lang natin mm-hmm. ang counting sequence. Is there mm-hmm. any formula that you can give for how mm-hmm. to budget your monthly income? At least ba, kung meron kang stable na trabaho na may kontrata ka, napepredict mo naman magkano papasok sa pera eh. Oo, oh, oh, tama ka dyan. May so, formula ba ron? Meron. Meron tayong pwedeng sundin na parang formula nga. So, yeah. so, ito yung proper uh, budgeting, no? Uh, pakita natin sa screen ang ating um, pie chart. Ayan. So, anyway, uh, pwede natin i-subdivide, no? And whatever we get in a month, no? So, ano-ano sa tingin nyo yun? Sir Bert, ano sa tingin mo? <laughs> Pag i- magbabudget tayo, anong mga kailangan natin i-consider? i-budget. Siguro yung mga fixed bills, uh, okay. electricity, water, uh, internet, importante na rin, uh, ano na rin yung internet ngayon, essentials need, na rin, internet a need needs. It's a need na rin. Oh. Ayan, oh, needs. Ayan. Um, ano pa ba? What's Sir Bert, narap naman mo na bang tumaas ang electricity bill mo? Sa oh. amin, sir. Narap naman mo na ba? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Opo, sir. <laughs> Kasi yung cons- consumption eh, the yeah. the entire day gagamit ka ng ano, ano almost uh, iba iba uh, ibang appliances na TV the entire day uh mga air conditioning mm-hmm. units pa refrigerators internet ganyan i feel also na ano i feel also na mas tataas yan i mean this year compared to last year because our houses our homes become our offices now okay diba? so, so we use the uh, oh, energy and, Uh, mm, we're using diba? uh, energy, so, consuming minsan, energy from the home instead of the offices. Uh, 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 marami kayong friends na nakita nyo sa Facebook nagko-convert, nagko-convert ng certain parts of their house into offices. Mm. Oh, isang purchase mm. dyan, aircon. Diba? Yeah. <laughs> so, at additional expense. Anyway, ito yung proper budgeting. No? It's just a suggestion. Mamomodify ito eh when, you're, when your income grows. Pero, Basically, this is it. No? So, 50%, you allot this for your needs and your family's needs. So, whatever it is that you're providing. For example, uh, you get a net of... Magkana bang salary ni Teacher One ngayon? It's Parang 90,000. 20, uh, 90,000. Hindi ba 21? 19,000. Baka 19,000. Matatagdag kasi ang city eh. Or ang municipal. Uh, oh, let's so, just make it 20. Okay. okay. Para madali. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's just make it 20. Okay. So anyway, if you have 20,000 net, uh, siguro yes. mas, ano na yun, mas, ano na yun, oh, madali na kompeten, net na siya. So, so ibig sabihin, mas malaki ba yung Pag sinabing net, tanggal na yung SSS, PhilHealth, tama ba? Oh, SSS, yeah, so take tanggal home, na. Take home, 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 So, kung 50%, 10,000. No? So, you have 10,000 to spend for like uh, yung daily mo, which should be 20 days, 20 class days in a month, let's mm. say. So, meron kang mm. 20 days, diba? yung 10,000 mo, divide mo by 20. So, more or less, you have 500 budget a day. So, hindi naman masyadong, ano, no? Hindi naman masyadong, uh, kaya naman, no? 500. Okay naman, 500 per day. So, also, you use that to provide for your family's needs. So, pero okay. siguro naman hindi lang ikaw yung nagko-contribute sa family ganyan. So, ah uh, yeah, so that will be for your needs and also you have your wants. Ang laki ng wants, 'di ba? So, kung makikita mo diyan 30%. Because because uh, we have to be realistic. You know, hindi kasi pwede na nag nagsasuggest tayo ng ano, ng proper budgeting kasi hindi tayo realistic. Uh, people would spend for their wants, eh, 'di ba? And ako I I don't uh, I don't disagree with that. No, you reward yourself. Diba for for working hard. Ano bang mga wants na yan? An- ano ano ba mga wants niyo? Sa so, napupunta. <laughs> Pagkain as in milk, milk tea ganyan, 'di ba? At kitang-kita naman ngayon. Kilala ko ni Sir Nico nung high school pa lang. Ay, at least Food talaga, 30 to 50% yeah. from that time. Oh. Oh, grabe. Horizontal growth 'yun, horizontal. <laughs> 
<laughs> Oo. Ikaw, Sir Bert, ano-ano ba mga ones mo, Sir Ako Bert? Ako naman, Sir, uh, may mga, ano ako, Sir, eh, mga in-order sa Shopee. Ang last na in-order ko sa Shopee, Ay, yeah, mga, Shopee mga resistance ko. resistance bands, yung pang-workout, mga ganyan oh, Yes, pang-workout. <laughs> Hindi I'm ako planning makarating. also to buy ring light, <laughs> mga ganyan. So, it's, I think those are ones. So, pero parang uh, nagiging essential na rin siya. Kasi ng- ngayon, pandemic, uh, we need to do physical fitness at home. Tapos may mga uh, zoom-zoom tayo. So, kailangan mga, mga ring light. So, uh, may mga uh, ano naman, justifications yeah, naman tayo. Uh, <laughs> actually, valid naman. No? You have the freedom to to put your money where you want it to go. Also, you have your wants, no? Ako, pag, paano ba wants? So, iba kasi yung circle ko na eh. Minodify ko na yan eh. Ay, eh hmm. Minodify ko na yan. So, anyway, it would depend on how you want it. Ako kasi yung 50% ko dito. <laughs> Share ko ba? <laughs> yung 50% ko dyan, ano na, investments na yan. So, whatever is coming in, half of it, I can. Okay? So, anyway, iba-iba to purpose. Pero ito kasi yung parang basic. No, you start with this. So, ideal to for for those who are starting. Well, beginning. First, oh. Yeah, beginning. No, first few years of it. So, 30% naman goes to your one. So, meaning that is 6,000. No, lucky din nun na. 6,000, ilang date din yun. Kung nakikipag-date ka every weekend. Di ba? So, how much do you spend on a date? Di ba, mga kalabas ka talaga. Hindi ka siya. You don't feel deprived. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Di ba, as, as uh, new to work, di ba sabihin natin na ano, uh, first year of work, at ano muna ako, oh, uh, gastos, bilhin ko muna lahat ng gusto ko, di ba? May mga ganong tayong pag-iisip. So, ito, di ba? You have 6,000 for that. Then also, you have 10% savings and then 10% investments. So dito, even liquidity is not, uh, liquidity is important. So, yun yung ating savings. So, may savings ka pa din na pwede mong i-withdraw sa ATM anytime or nandyan lang siya. So, 10%, that will be 2,000. Okay. And then, ibig sabihin nun, meron kang pang invest, which is also 2,000. So, even if you're earning, you say, earning a salary of teacher one, kasi di ba, yun naman ang lowest sa, ano, sa bra- Siyempre, tataas ka pa. Yeah. You have something to, you have something to invest. No? So, you can use this to pay for your insurance, your investments, yan. Sige, pag-usapan natin sila later on. So, that is uh, suggested budgeting, no? So, kaya pwede nyo gawin yan. So, evaluate nyo yan. Bawa si Sir Philip, 500,000 yan a month. Wow. So, Ayan, di ba? Sana, no? <laughs> so, anyway. Swerte, ha? <laughs> Magbilang ang anyway, help, I won't, I won't mind. <laughs> Ayan, medyo malapit doon. Ayan, so, no. mga nasa 450. <laughs> Grabe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sige, so, yeah, so that's how we do, ano, no? Uh, proper budgeting. So, now let's talk about uh, financial instruments. So, ito naman yung really something very important, no? So, kanina we've discussed problems. We've also discussed budgeting. So, paano naman ang ating uh, financial instrument? When you say financial instrument, ito yung solutions for the needs or problems that we've identified a while ago. So, kung magkakaroon ka ng sickness, magkakaroon ka ng uh, accident or disability, so ano ba dapat yung meron ka Diba? So let's look at financial instrument. First, we have, it's the next slide, we have life insurance. Life so insurance. when you say life insurance, ito yung uh, money that your family will receive in case of your, ano, let's just say it, no? in case of your death. No? So, so they will get, for example, the regular one, they get 2 million. So why, why is it important that you have life insurance? Because people are depending on you. Unless you're really, ano no, pero I, I, I don't think na, di ba nga, sa culture natin, Filipinos, there's always someone depending on us. And also, mm. ano to eh, di ba, maraming mangyayari before your death, nandiyan yung hospitalization expenses. Kung malalaman nyo na ngayon kung magkano yung cost ng hospitalization, sobrang mahal. So you have to have mm. life insurance. Ang kagandahan nitong life insurance is, it will give you a guarantee 2 million for just, just if you first, uh, application is approved. Ha? It's a guaranteed. Unlike uh, pure investments, because many many new graduates are also investing on uh, pure investment. There's nothing wrong with that. But mm. investments, they have to take note. It's not guaranteed. Okay. But life insurance is. So okay. once you've acquired this, you're approved. You've declared your family history, the sickness and all, and it's approved. You're guaranteed. Your family is guaranteed to receive this much. So kung iisipin mo yan, halimbawa, 
2,000 a month can give you 2 million pesos insurance. How many years will it take you to save 2 million? You'll mm. never be able to save that in your lifetime. Yeah. Diba? You'll, but, but your family will surely get that. Mm. So the, you, that's the beauty of life insurance. It's something guaranteed. Imagine mo no, kung ang culture natin na every member of the family is insured and everyone, a person passes. Hindi naman sa masaya ka, di ba, na may na mula family member. But you're sure there is an income replacement. Uh, mm. May lalabas na money because everybody is insured. If the culture is like that, just like most Chinese people, they do that. No, They, they plan really well. So, di ba, you're sure that there is continuous in, yung iba nga, to be honest with you, they make wealth out of insurance. So like, for example, the father has many insurance policies and then it will pay off uh, when the father dies. Yun na rin yung kanyang pamana ba? Pamana. Pamana. Diba? Oh. So they get wealth out of it, diba? So that's also one use of life insurance. So next is you, you have to have health insurance. So ito naman yung health insurance, diba? Same concept as life insurance, diba? Uh, for example, you acquire diseases or let's say a cancer, diba? Or medication for cancer will cost you a minimum of 1 million. Mm. And I hope everybody realizes that. No 1 million. How will you provide for the 1 million? Well, let's say you survive it. Pero yung life mo after it, you're full of yeah. loans. Puro, puro utang. Full of loans. So, Tutu. 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 Oo. Diba? Yeah. Mm. Mabubuhay ka na lang to pay for that. No? Yeah. To pay for that. Uh, to pay for that loan, no, to be honest. So it's necessary that you acquire health insurance. Para ma, 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 ma meet mo pa rin yung goals mo, yung dreams mo in life in case this happens. And di ba, who would you rather pay if, if, if an illness happens to you? Would you rather ask your family to pay or would you rather ask the insurance company to pay? Pay for you. Oh, so no brainer yun. Hindi, yeah, hindi diba? family, hindi family ang bibigyan mo. No brainer yun. Tama, tama ka doon, Sir Philip. So... Yan ang kagandahan if you also have health insurance. Ito yung mga nagpe-prevent you, prevent you from getting broke. Yeah. It will prevent you from consuming all your wealth to pay for medical expenses. So, ayan. Okay? So, third is you have to have also an HMO. Ito yung for small uh, small accidents that you may acquire. Maganda nito. Mostly of the companies, uh, they give their employees HMO, which is good. Okay. Sir, I, the, I, anong ibig sabihin ng HMO, sir? Ito yung it's for, an acronym? Uh, for health and medical, uh, yung, oh, hindi okay. ko din ma-figure out. Eh. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, itong HMO would give you around uh, 100,000. Malaki na yung 200,000. So, okay. ito yung for any for any, for any operation, any sickness naman. So, it's it's guaranteed. The difference from health insurance is that yung value nito mababa lang. Like for example, I know for yung, 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 yung travel insurance or halimbawa sasakay ka sa aeroplano tapos may matatanggap kang uh, something if in, in, in case may mangyayari. Is it an HMO uh, ba? Uh, it's life insurance actually. Ah, life insurance, insurance. Yeah. Ah, yeah, oh, oh. If, life insurance. Uh, if magkaroon ng ay, hindi naman sa ano, no? Ba, ba, sa yung aeroplano, di ba? Oh. Yeah, that, 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 Pagka, uh, alam mo na. <laughs> so, ang hirap ang sabihin. Ang purpose ko, is not ah, more yes, of, sir. not more of the, not more of the, tawag dito, it's a strategy for businesses so that they won't have to, di ba, pagka nawala yung employee nila, for example, pinadala nila for a business meeting, like us, mm. for example, we fly to Cebu, yeah. and you fly also to Manila, Mm. So, if anything happens to you, then syempre, you have to provide for the family. Diba? Instead of you providing for the family like 1 million, yung insurance na yung magbabayad nun. Mm. So, it's a strategy also for businesses. Ayan. So, going back to HMO naman, it's for uh, for small accidents. Kanya. So, they pay for it. Pero the, the difference is limited. Hanggang ano lang siya, 200, 300. Kanya. So, because that's the purpose of HMO. So the last okay. is you have to have investments. Ito naman yung uh, investment na sinasabi natin. Um, kanina, di ba, we argue na it's not wise to save in a savings account in the bank. Di ba? So you have to have, your, your money should be growing at a rate higher than the inflation rate. Yeah. Di ba? O, balik tayo sa example kanina, di ba? 
yung meal mo na 100 pesos, yung favorite mong meal, 105 na siya next year. Mm. Yung money mo mm. naging 101 lang. Kasi 1% lang. ng interest mm. na lang. Eh. So dapat yung money mo naging 112. Mm. Because Ar- 12%, kaya ng companies yan, kaya ng insurance companies yan. Yung manage funds nila, you just have to be critical on which fund to choose. Kasi it's possible. So possible pala, no? Um... Pero so, pwede yung client ang mamili kung saan pondo ilalagay ang pera niya. Hindi yeah, company. So, oh, pero hindi na lang magiging ganun ka-technical. No? Yeah, so, yung mga yeah. bonds, equities. Yeah. Yeah, pwede hindi natin alam pero alam na senior high. Tanongin na lang natin <laughs> sa <mga> senior high. <laughs> Because they know better. Yeah, <laughs> Kasi inaral yeah. nila eh, sa mata. Pero totoo ba sir na yung so, gold tsaka yung yeah. lupa uh, they are ano, um, wise investments? Hindi, hindi 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 ka talaga malulugi if you uh, acquire yun. no properties uh, acquire so, properties is, buy gold for example uh, mm, uh, no so yan, you know you buy gold the thing about <laughs> this one is for wag nating wag wag nating i-compare yung land sa gold kasi Sobrang magkaiba, no? So, land land property is really uh, guaranteed uh, guaranteed to uh, increase its value over time. But the thing is, it's uh, it's not easy to purchase land property. Yes. Di ba? So, it's not... It it's not time. Like, it takes hmm? time. Yeah. And it's, it's not like 2,000 a month. Yeah. So, yeah. Di ba? It's so it's expensive. Not 2,000 a month. It's not 2,000 a million. Property. Or even oh. more. Hmm. Million ang usap. Gold naman. Mm-hmm. Gold naman increases its value through but, time, but not mm-hmm. as uh, as as in the stock market investments. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It it guarantees uh, to increase its value, pero hindi hindi siya ano hindi siya ganon talaga ano hindi possible na hindi niya mabit yung inflation, but definitely it will it will go. Okay. okay. Sige, so, so, Sir Nico, sige, I think, uh, with all of these na napag-usapan natin, so um. Well, the last thing that we that we that you spoke about was gold. If there are any, are there any golden nuggets na may iwan mo sa kanila? Nuggets of wisdom. Ano yung kaya nating magawa at this time? Na we know that our reviewees who will be uh, joining us for the hybrid program, kakatapos palang yan na mag uh, uh, kakatapos palang yung graduate. Maglet or oh, graduate. Career na. So, mm. second degree sila and uh, mm. PC or whatever it is. And mm. they, ang range ng salary ng guro will be from, at least sa public school, sure ka ng 20,000 a month. Okay? Mm. Pero if you go to the private school, private school, there are private schools na as low as 6,000 to 7,000 a month. Okay? Mm. So, yeah. And somewhere along the way, may ilan na kahit umabot sila ng pagre-retiro, hindi nalalayo sa una nilang mm-hmm. sinyado. So, ano yung mga financial literacy for research na ano yung hindi natin dapat pwedeng makalimutan? Mm-hmm. Chubby, sir. Sorry. Yes, sir, Nico. Opo. Okay. We're just having some difficulties, but I think Sir Nico is here. Yes? Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> but, but I think I heard it. Para yeah, yeah. na ng golden nugget. Yes, yes. <laughs> ano mga pieces of advice? to share to yeah. teachers. Mm. For teachers. Sure. Actually, uh, I have two advices for, uh, no, for teachers. Number one would be uh, uh, them applying financial literacy to oneself. But I would like to talk to uh, to talk about the second one first, uh, financial literacy, integrating it in education. No? So, unang-una, we are advised by the Department of Education through their uh, curriculum provisions for us to integrate financial literacy with our lessons, with our mm. activities. So, it's really a must. No? Wag natin, wag natin i-disregard itong mga literacy suggested by P20 Pantang or Partnership for 21st Century Education.org because it's there for a purpose. Mm-hmm. No, It's a must that we teach our uh, learners this particular literacies so that they make uh, uh, they make wiser decisions. Especially, uh, this is intentionally uh, to prepare them for the field. Now, uh, 
on your question, Sir Philip, you uh, you're asking for uh, my advice to uh, to teachers on financial literacy. Uh, uh, she could not uh, like a specific advice, no, because every every person you have to understand every person has uh, different circumstances, different needs. needs yes, so has different circumstances, diba? Uh, the best thing I think that I could advise them would be to seek professional advice from financial consultants, financial advisors. Why? Because it's free. It's free. And, it's free. Uh, and whatever would be suggested to you is customized to your need. It's, it, uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be tawag dito. But siguro yung fear ng madami, no? Inisip nila na ano yan, malaking gastos yan, ano? But actually, do you know that, for example, you can get insurance of up to 3 million for only 7,000 per year. Mm. Diba? We have, we, have, uh, we have people whom I know, they acquire, uh, they acquire insurance, they are security guards. I know of one who is a Taho vendor. So I, I, I don't see the, no, no, the, the, especially if these people who are asking about these ones, are the ones who has a lot to spend for, you know, for other things, diba? It's a matter of knowing, knowing your priorities. It's a matter of knowing what you really want and taking action. Because you say, for example, I want a retirement fund of five million because somehow I want to retire comfortably. But you're not doing taking action. You're not willing to do what it takes. Hindi naman siya, hindi naman siya lalabas dyan, diba? I want to get connected, but you're not. Why insurance, diba? First and foremost, uh, uh, you have to be willing, diba? If you know you want, it would take choppy. Hello, hello. Next choppy, see, si sir. Ah, choppy, diba? Okay. Am I? Am I choppy? Then <laughs> choppy, kayo, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Ako Chabi. Sir, chubby. Sir Nico. Chubby. Sir Nico. Sir Nico. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you mentioned about financial uh, literacy to students for, for senior high. Yeah. Do you think it would be uh, better na ang financial literacy natin sa mga sujati magsisimula at earlier grades, like even as as early as grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, tinuturuan na natin sa nang savings, as, as simple as those concepts. What do you think, sir? Yes, sir. Actually, it's already there, sir. So it's already the there. Curriculum guide, if you would uh, look into it, really, if you look into it, uh, we are suggesting to these things early on. And I think this is emphasized okay. on, yeah, even on the kinder curriculum. Okay, mm-hmm. wow. That's sing. a great news. That's yeah, a great news. Kindergarten, yeah. yeah. Oo. Siguro hindi lang natin nababrowse, no? Kasi hindi natin siya discipline. Yes. But if you yeah. browse the curriculum, the K-12 curriculum, there are provisions for integration of financial literacy on every, across okay. all texts ito. Across all subjects. Diba? So, yun naman na, that's why I'm really happy about K-12. You know, when it was introduced. Because I'm really, I'm really after, uh, you, you know, lessons beyond content. You know, that the literacy is the ones that help uh, the learners with life. So, yes. really, I'm pushing for that. Eh. Help them prepare if for life. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. yes um, so. uh, final na lang, sir. Um, pati kay Sir Philip, you, know, sir. you know, in 2017, there was this um, big news that public school teachers in the Philippines tend to overborrow, no? Lending, <laughs> lending na walang ending. Yan yung parang pinaka... <laughs> What's your reaction to that? Ganda nung rhyme. Of all the government employees, but yung mga teachers talaga yung <laughs> nagli-lend, over-lend talaga, overborrow. And how, how can we solve that? You, that? That kind of social problem. Talamak yan eh. Would you agree? Siguro mauuna yeah. na ako kasi yung expert ang pauhulihin ko. <laughs> um, well, Sige, sir. My, well, my students, I, alam, niyo, alam naman yan mga estudyante ko sa Cebu and Manila, you know that I mentioned about it. It's one of the things that uh, I mentioned in passing. No? Kasi nga tama yung sinabi mo, Sir Engelbert, na may pumutok na ganyang news. Now, syempre, na-highlight ang public sector. 
Uh, yes. But it's not, uh, remember, it's not necessarily true na sa public sector lang yun nangyayari. Sa public sector, kasi mukha lang nangyayari siya kasi centralized. May GSISK. Alright? <laughs> in the private sector, remember, it can take on a lot of different phases as well, whether that's SSS, pag-ibig, kapwa mo faculty, o kung sino pa man, no? <laughs> I think, um, we're not we're not judging kung ano man ang kanilang uh, circumstances. Sabi nga ni Sir Nico, oh. make sure debts. Pero, uh, I think, there's just a need to distinguish ano ba talaga yung kautang-utang, anong klaseng mm-hmm. gastos, yung, yung valid na may iutang ka. Plus the rest, there should also be some form of patience, I guess. Now, you, it doesn't mean that you, that you don't have it now. You'll never have it in the near future. Kung want naman yan, baka pwede nga pagkakunan. But I'll leave it to the financial guru to teach us <laughs> Oh, Shout out to sa atin sa kahirapan. <laughs> thank you, Sir Philip. <laughs> yeah. Ako kasi, no, I, I've heard about uh, my co-teachers from before who's applying for loans. Uh, most of the reasons would be uh, for child's education, which is, I ah, think, okay. it's it's a good reason naman. A good but what I want, but, yeah, oh, but what I want sana, no, uh, people to realize uh, what I want them to realize, parents in particular, what I want parents to realize is that education is a planned expense. It's not a surprise. Mm-hmm. So definitely, your right. your your children oh. will reach college, and it would cost you a lot. You have you should have prepared for it. Oh, see, see, we're not judging the circumstance, you know. Pero the the point is, uh, to some, because it it comes like like a surprise, like retirement, for example. Uh, mm-hmm. They panic. They were like, when they say, uh, five years na lang pala, magre-retire na ako. And then that's only when they compute. They prepare. Oh. Kasi, oh, oh, yeah. Kasi pagka si teacher, di ba, inisip niya, ay makakukuha ko ng, ano, ng one million. Malaki yun. Malaki talaga yun. Kasi ibibigay ng isang buo. It's oh, all bulk. So, bibig- oh, lump sum. Ibibigay ng isang buo. Malaki oh. talaga yun. Oh. oh. But you try to compute your expenses. No, so for example, your expenses would just be minimal, twenty thousand a month. Ilang years yun magtatagal? Four years. Mm, totoo, totoo. Tapos after noon, ano kana after noon? At granting yun na hindi ka pa nagkakasakit. Oh, oh. Granting yun diba? na wala kang diba? ibang, uh, ma- walang ibang mangyayari. Tama. If you are sir. able to acquire this this financial products early on, and for example, natapos mo na yan, 10 years, 15 years, it's like guaranteed future. Eh. But like peace of mind, but kuha mo na kasi. Diba? So you, you know uh, how it feels to uh, live with peace of mind because you know if anything happens, something will provide. Something will provide. Or may pagkukunan ka. Diba? So, uh, I like to uh, answer that question in a sense that siguro it's a matter of uh, really foreseeing your needs diba? and taking action early on. It, it, it really would, it's about uh, preparation. And, and, and when you prepare, diba? everything is everything goes well when you prepare. Diba? So, la, siguro lack of preparation. Pero kaya naman, siguro ang advice natin to our uh, ito, no, they are fresh graduates. They are taking the lead or they started early on. Uh, the, the best advice would be to prepare early. Talk to a professional regarding uh, regarding these matters because it's free. All on charge. No? When you ask for a consultation uh, about uh, with uh, financial advisors, financial consultant. Hindi yan parang doctor na consult ka ng 800 for 2 minutes. Diba? <laughs> Yeah, pero yung kasi yung reality, di ba? Pero anyway, that's their professional fee. They work hard for it. But what I'm saying yeah. is that for consultation about your finances, which will save your future, it's free. So uh, try to consult professionals. Right online, you can do that, no? So ayun, get professional advice. Stop guessing, di ba? Kasi ako, I, I guess, for like five, six years, nahula ako kung saan ba magpupunta yung pera ko. Diba? So, <laughs> ayan. So, don't make the same mistakes I did also, siguro. Ayan. All Thank right. you so much, so, Rico. Sir Engelbert, Sir Edward, ang dami nating natin. Sir Edward, hello. Oh, oh, very, actually, uh, anong malaman, ha? Uh, Sir Philip, Sir Engelbert, uh, Sir Nico, ikaw ba, can they talk to you? Pwede ka ba mo contact ng aking mga viewers? Of course, Facebook lang. 
PM is the key. PM is the key. PM is the key. Yes. So ayan everybody, oh, Abby, si Sir Abby, Nico. I'm happy to ano to to give advice. Thank you so much Sir Nico for your for that very Thank ano you so useful so, practical tips. Bigyan natin well I know we're in our homes no but if, you know at least we can give a round of applause kay tayo tayo yes. lang na. Or <laughs> pwedeng suru pirip mag, mag like tayo para kay Nico. Oh. I like natin uh, yung ano natin. Mag like tayo dito ayan oh. Like naman para yeah. kay Sir Nico natin. Yeah. Like tayo, <laughs> yeah. Thank you everybody. <laughs> Nabanggit mo Sir Edward ang pagla-like. Well, I guess to our viewers, it's a, it's also a good practice that when you join us here for the Kapihan, malaking tulong na you share it uh, on mm-hmm. your timelines. You share it to Uh-oh. people who may be interested kahit na private messaging. And then you invite them to like also the page of Metro View Center. Totoo, totoo. <laughs> And Sir Philip, Sir Engelbert, final question lang siguro para kay Sir Nico. Sir Nico, kasi ikaw ang yes. um, uh, expert sa sa mga finances. Mm. Sir Nico, titingin mo ba sulit ang Met Hybrid program? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <not>. Financially <laughs> ano ba siya <laughs> worth it? <laughs> oh, it's actually on sale, di ba? Parang uh, uh, the uh, value uh, of it is on sale. Yeah. So, I think uh, you'd be getting a lot more compared to actually compared to the traditional mas marami tayong in-offer uh Uh, this season, di ba? Because yeah. we have the the hybrid program, we have the uh, uh, synchronous, di ba? You still mm-hmm. get to meet with your uh, with your gurus, and then you also have the library. We have resources, we have videos, we have online quizzes, we have the PowerPoint is already there. So and the book is there. You might need, the book, diba? book is still there. Yeah. yeah. So it so, means it means Sir Nico, wala sa isang financial uh, expert. Uh, would you say talaga na ang met ay I-recommend natin talaga, right? Of Super course. sulit, no? Diba? Uh, Plus, hindi pa sa magkaka-COVID, sir, kasi nasa bahay lang sila mat- matuduto. Totoo. 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 So, ayun, mga kaibigan, sabi na ni Boss Nico na ang high program sulit. ay sulit. Okay, if are you, if you have friends who are going to take the board exam for t-shirts sa September, please recommend the Met Hybrid Program. Ayan. Yes. So, maraming salamat, Sir Philip, for joining us, Sir Engelberg, and Sir Nico. And again, thank you, this thank you. informative na naman itong Met Cup Series episode number five. And please do watch out for our episode number six. Ayan. Siguro, yes. sir, magpano po kayo, Sir Philip? Well, uh, Uh, siguro isa, ang isang takeaway ko lang sa lahat ng tinuro sa atin ni Sir Nico is, yeah, YOLO or you only live once is fine. But, you know, you can't always apply it because spending all your money is only good if you're, you're gonna make sure you're gonna die tomorrow. Correct. Pero kung buhay ka pa at wala ka ng panggastos, that's gonna be problematic. So, malansin <laughs> lang. Oh. Hindi naman tinanggal ni Sir Nico yung once. Pero oh, malaki na eh. lang. Huwag nating isipin na puro you only live once lang lagi, okay? True. Sir Engelberg? Sa, sa akin naman, sir, is uh, it's time to prioritize our future. We, hindi lang natin iisipin yung present. We also have to save for, for our future. Lalo na kapag ganito mga pandemic na hindi natin alam kung may bago na namang darating. So, yun yung major takeaway ko po. Salamat, Sir, Sir Edward. Edward. Ako, mag-ipon. <laughs> <laughs> save, 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 and save. Ah, Ako na lang siguro, no, very last, very last pahabol lang. Bumili lang gold Uh-oh. para It sa Engelbert. <laughs> saving and investing, uh, it's something that it doesn't have to be sad. It actually should be a happy experience. Correct. A happy experience because, you know, whatever you work hard for, uh, you're putting into something that is worth it. You know, it, it has to be like, but the, the feeling should be happy ako today because uh, for happy ako this month because I'm able to save this much uh, for my future. So, ayun. Happy state. Ayan. Yeah. So, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you, you, everyone, for uh, watching. Everyone who's joined us tonight. Thank you. Yes, yes. At kung medyo nabitin kayo dyan, tandaan natin na si Sir Philip, si Sir Engelbert, at si Sir Nico ay mga lectures ng MAT. So please, enroll na sa ating hybrid program. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. Good night. Happy weekend. All of us, stay safe. Yes. Good night.